Okay, in this video, we're going through Google My Business optimization, uh, specifically getting images. So I'm gonna, going to show you how to get the images and how to uh, properly name them and rename them, uh, what we want them to be um, in order to optimize them uh, for the keywords, which essentially are our service areas and locations and different combinations, uh, which we'll then use to upload to Google My Business. Uh, so first, let me go over to our Dropbox folder for this client. Okay, so here is the folder for the client, and you can see we have uh, some of these files were automatically created um, from the onboarding form. So we've got the NAP file, the uh, service locations, and the service names, which were completed by the client during onboarding. Uh, for the keyword research text file, just refer to Greg's video regarding how to pretty much expand the service type list of keywords because that will give you more uh, options or more terms to actually uh, complete this process with. So uh, for the start though, I'm going to open up the service names and see what the client supplied us with. So we have interior painting, exterior painting, pressure washing, and cedar restoration. So essentially we have four core service uh, types that they're providing. And uh, this is a good starting point for us. This will be the core of what I'm going to show you in this video. And again, um, a recommendation is that you start with these, um, cross-reference with what the website has, if they have an established website. And then what you can do, and this will make more sense as we go, is that in subsequent months, you would look in the keyword research uh, text file that you created based on Greg's video, and you would add new ones each month to continually optimize their Google My Business. But for now, we're gonna start with these four. Um, and the way this works is that essentially each one of these is going to be a folder. All right, so what I'll do, let me close this. I need to create an images folder. So I'll go ahead and create that now. And I'm just creating that in the root folder of this client. So you can see we have our agency name and then we have the client's name here. And I'm going to name this folder images. Uh, now, inside of the images folder, we're going to create four more folders based on the service names that we have. If you have more, then you'd have the, an equal number to uh, what you have here. So in this case, there are four line items. If you had less, you'd have less folders. If you had more, you'd have more folders. But, um, you know, considering that this is a, you know, essentially an entry level uh, SEO package that you put together here, either the the 500 or 595 plan or the 995 plan, um, you kind of want to gauge that and not spread yourself too thin with too many terms. So four is really plenty uh, under that level of package. And again, like I said, you can do more in following months just to uh, keep, keep that Google My Business updated properly. Um, so we can do this a couple of ways. We could just simply go inside of the images folder and right click and create a folder for each one, right? That's pretty standard. Um, but if you are in a situation where you have a lot of these service names, I always like to kind of uh, optimize what I'm doing by not spending too much time on stuff. So there's a software which is actually uh, can create a folder for every line in a text file. So it's easier for me just to show you what that is. So if I open up this tool and the link will be inside of that resources file too, where you can just download this. It's called text to folders. And all you do is you select the root folder here by clicking on browse. And the root folder in this case is going to be uh, images inside of color bright painting for this client. So let me just that in manually. You could use the browse button as well and just find it. Um, but I already know the, the directory. So it would be inside of images. And then the text file, you just click on browse to find it. And that text file is going to be service names. So I'll select that. And then I'll just click on this button, create folders. And that's it. So I, now I can close this. And if I can close that out too. So if I open up in, images now, we're going to see all those folders created. And what we're going to do is use each one of these folders to save a bunch of images based on the keyword. So we're gonna do some searches for cedar restoration and we're going to store all those images inside of there and then and so on and so on uh, for the rest of what we have here. Um, and then there's a, there's a certain process for doing that. So 
Uh, let me open up a search tool that I like to use. Okay, so this is this is not a software that I know that I own or any of us own. It's uh, just a resource that I found that I like. It's called Google.app, so G-O-G-L dot A-P-P. And essentially it allows you to do better searches. Um, I think Google search for images used to allow you to select a minimum size um, more specifically, but they got rid of it. But this allows you to do that. So what I do is I usually will, will select uh, 800 by 600 as the minimum image I want to uh, find. And I will just put in that first search. So if we go back to that file, uh, we can go with Cedar Restoration. So just to make sure I have it exactly right, I'm just going to copy it and then go back over here and just paste that in. And then just click on the magnifying glass or click enter. And all it does is open up Google with a uh, specific URL parameter already completed to ensure that you get images returned with those minimums. And you can do a few things here. So let me go back over to the folder because I want to show you something. Um, let me go over into our service names. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry, the uh, service locations. So in this case, I can see that we have 23 lines of locations that this client submitted. Now, in terms of actual real SEO optimization that we're going to do for the client to rank them, uh, it's not very realistic that we're going to focus on all of these locations because it's a lot. Um, but as far as Google My Business is concerned, we can still do it and we will do it because it doesn't take that much more time. And um, it's, it's, good, it's a good foundation to set for everything else that we're going to be working on. Um, but the thing that you need to look at here is the number. So if you have 23 of, uh, of these terms and uh, we have one of the actual, or excuse me, we have um, four of the service names, right? That's a lot of different combinations because essentially what we're going to do is have Cedar Restoration plus uh, Southampton. So Cedar Restoration, Southampton, Cedar Restoration, West Hampton, right? And so on and so on. So that creates a, a lot of different combinations and a lot of images needed. So rather than go ahead uh, than going ahead and just downloading these images manually, let me just minimize some of this stuff, that could take a lot of work. There's a, a Chrome extension you can get, which will allow you to do this. Um, let me just take it out of full screen so you can see that. Uh, hold on one second here. All right, so the screen, or excuse me, the extension is called um, Download Images, and I'll link this as well in the, um, the resource file. But what we're going to do is just click on this, and it takes a little bit of time, and you can see that it's starting to count all the images. Um, so I'll let that load there for a little bit. And what's going to do is download a zip file of all the images for this search. And uh, you know, there's going to be another layer of having to kind of filter through and just make sure we don't have anything um, that we don't want. We have criteria based on that. We want to ensure that we don't have prominent faces that belong to people, any other companies. Obviously, we don't want to promote other companies and that sort of thing. Um, so like this one here says wash safe, that's a logo. We wouldn't use that one, but uh, we download the entire image folder like this. And I'm going to extract all of these and I'm just going to select that folder for color bright painting. So I'm going to go into images and then Cedar restoration and I'm going to select that folder and extract all of those images. All right, so it's got 154 items. We don't need that many. Uh, so there's some kind of error here. What is this? Uh, path too long, so that's fine. And if, it, if for some reason some of the images may have some crazy long names, just I'm just going to skip those. It's not a big deal. We're dealing with kind of bulk here, and uh, we're just going to pick the best ones. All right, so we've got that done. And let me just back out a second just to show you. So we've got images, we have cedar restoration, 
And now we have all of these images in here. Don't worry about the naming because we're going to take care of that. Um, what we want to do at this point, though, is I'm going to maximize this. And it's best to view this by extra large icons just so you can really see them. And we're going to go through it kind of quickly. So if I see anything I don't like, I'm just going to delete it. So I don't like this. It's got a weird logo there. Um, so I don't want to ask again. I'm just going to delete everywhere. All right. A lot of these are fine. And don't get too in the weeds with this. We're looking for um, possible companies that exist that we don't want to infringe on. So we're deleting that. Um, let's see, deleting this, any kind of other brands, that sort of thing. And keep in mind, once you really get a process down, this is what your VAs will be doing. They can easily just watch this video and do this for themselves as well. And that's what we do. So I'll delete that. Got sometimes some weird images that weren't the proper size still slip through the cracks. And that's okay. We'll just delete those out. All right, so I'm just going through all this. I mean, for the most part, a lot of this is going to be perfectly fine and usable. Uh, we can use that, that's fine. And you, of course, you can always uh, mass select things by holding down the control button on Windows. I believe it's the uh, Apple key, the command key on, uh, on Macs. So I'm just gonna keep going through and fine tuning this. Right. Sometimes I see some duplicates. If I see duplicates that are obvious, I will remove them. I remember I saw that one. There's obviously some duplicates in here. Um, but again, don't get too hung up on a lot of this stuff because you don't need to um, worry if it's not exactly right. Okay, leave that. All right, so let me just hit that delete button now just in case. Sometimes you, you mess up and you forget to hold control on another click and then you lose all of that work and that's kind of a pain. So I'm gonna delete this and I'll delete this one. I think that might have a brand in there. So I'll delete that, and that as well. Um, I guess I got my, my Google images on my profile there. All right, so a couple more. All right, so I think that should be good. All right, uh, there's another logo there, so I'll get rid of that one. That's a weird red drop in the middle. Don't need that. All right, uh, so we're looking pretty good here. We've got pretty much what we want. Again, I'm going to still try to filter out some duplicates. And I'm going kind of faster here, but really, if you're paying a VA to do this, you want to give them criteria of, you know, get rid of any duplicates, um, you know, certainly any kind of branding, any kind of face faces on there that are prominent that you don't want. All right, so the rest of this is looking pretty good. Just giving it one more once over here. It's another duplicate. I'll get rid of that. There's one here, there. Let's see. All right, so we're good with that. And I will uh, just close this out. Actually, now just uh, let me go back. All right, so Cedar Restoration is done in terms of the images that we want to actually just the raw images to download. Uh, so what we want to do is the exact same thing for exterior painting, interior painting, and pressure washing. So the exact same process. Exterior painting is next. Um, you can either just type it in manually or copy it just to make sure that you have it typed out exactly correct. And get rid of that. And I would just go back over to close that window. I would just go back over to this location, paste exterior painting, and search. So I just click on this little zip icon here to download all the images in bulk. And once I get that, I will go through and uh, extract those images into the exterior painting folder. 
and then filter them out again. So uh, I'll just pause the video here while I complete those steps. And I'm going to do that for all of these options here. So cedar restoration is done. I'm doing exterior painting now. I'll do interior painting and pressure washing. And then uh, I'll resume the video once I finish with these four folders uh, completely having the bulk images inside of them uh, with the uh, filters and criteria that I just told you about. So I'm gonna pause it now and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I've gone through and I have gotten those images for each of these uh, service types. So exterior painting, you can see I've got all the images here. Uh, I've done the same thing for interior painting uh, and also for pressure washing. And just remember that uh, part of this criteria was just removing duplicates, making sure there was no small icons that weren't relevant and also removing any kind of brandable or uh, faces in the images. So I'm um, left with some good images here of appropriate size and content that I want to use. So once you've done that for all four, uh, in this case four, uh, depending on the number of services that your client has, and which will obviously change from client to client, but in uh, this case, it's four. So once you're finished with that, um, we'll go back over to our uh, client management tracker uh, inside of ClickUp. So let me just go over there. All right, so here we are on ClickUp and for this task under GMB, Bing Optimization, this uh, subtask here, or excuse me, this, um, this uh, task here was retrieve and download image groups by service name, which we just completed. So as always, just make sure that you review, uh, that you followed all the criteria. And you can see I've got all these reminders in here for yourself or the VA if you were to use one, right? So no logos as well. Uh, so once that's done, you'll go ahead and mark this task as complete. Uh, so I'll go ahead and change this to closed. And I can go ahead and close that out. And that is it for finding the images and saving them. In the next video, we're going to go over uh, renaming them with SEO titles. And there's a certain way that we want to do that. So stay tuned for the next video.